Hey everyone, Logan here from The Spalty Dog. So today I'm going to show you how I made this mid-century modern table lamp. Now with that said, let's go ahead and get into the build. I searched through my scrap bin and found this walnut cutoff that I've had for about three years now. I start by flattening one face over on the joiner, then move to the planer to get the board to final thickness. Off camera, I made a leg template out of half inch plywood. I traced this template onto my board to get a total of three legs. Next, I roughly cut out each leg over on the bandsaw, staying just outside of my lines. To get the legs to final shape, I attached the template using double-sided tape and then flushed everything up at the router table. I set the blade on my table saw to 30 degrees, then using a temporary sled, I cut the joiner in two passes. Afterwards, all three legs should come together something like this. I sand everything up to 180 grit using the random orbit sander and the oscillating belt sander. I also soften all the edges using a 1 16th inch roundover bit on the trim router. At this point, we're ready to glue everything up. I use blue tape to temporarily hold the legs together, then add rubber bands to give a bit more clamping power. I'll be using this 3 inch stem cord grip to feed the power cable through to the light socket. So I drill a half inch hole down the center of the lamp base, then flip the base upside down and drill a slightly smaller hole to feed the cable through. After that, I cleaned everything with mineral spirits and applied my go-to finish, Rubio Monaco. From here on out, it's all electrical work, which can be pretty dangerous. I'm an amateur at best, so instead of going into all the fine details, I'll link to a few videos in the description that helped me out. Basically, I just trim the cord end to expose the inner wires, trim and solder each of those ends, feed the wire through the cord stem, attach each wire to the appropriate terminal, and screw on the socket housing. After wiring everything up, it's time to grab an old dirty bulb and test it out. Now that I know it works, I want to make sure the stem is held in place by adding a few dabs of CA glue to the bottom. At this point, all we need is a shade, and we can call this one done. I've found that when it comes to smaller pieces like this, I often struggle in coming up with ideas. I'll hold on to cutoffs for years, telling myself it can be used for something. But unfortunately, I'm just not good at figuring out what that something is, which is why I typically stick to larger furniture. Even this piece was designed as a floor lamp that I scaled down to prototype. However, I'm really happy with how this came together and will definitely be making more of these in the future. Thanks for sticking around this far, and if you liked what you saw, consider subscribing to stay up to date on future projects. I hope to catch you on the next one.